Okay, so we're solving the system of equations with three unknowns using matrix. So step one is you make the matrix using these values. Okay, the matrix X should be the unknowns. What are the unknowns here? What else? So you say my matrix X, X is X, Y, and Z, because these are the unknowns. It should be in one column, three different rows. And your matrix B should be the right-hand side. What is it? 95, 32, 61. Now, this is just an example of three unknowns. Even if there are 100 unknowns, you can still use this method. So it's a really powerful tool, matrix. All right, this is step one. And step two, you find the inverse of the matrix, A. So before we find the inverse, what do we need to find? The determinant. Only if the determinant is not equal to zero, you say such a problem is solvable. So you say M determ. And select the matrix. and only press enter. So can we solve this problem? Yes, because the determinant is not equal to zero. So then find the inverse of the matrix. Let's call it inverse of A and select the same size of A. And do M. To find the inverse of a matrix, it's M inverse. And select the whole matrix. And what should I press? So control, shift, and enter together. That's the inverse of the matrix. Let's make it look pretty. Just give it different colors, light colors. Okay, now you do step three. In step three, you multiply the inverse of A to B. So in step three, we do A inverse, multiply with the matrix B. So we are doing three by three matrix. Can you, can somebody tell me what should be the answer size? What should be the size of this matrix? This is three by three, this is three by one. So the size of the answer should be three by one. Does that make sense? Three by three times three by one will give you three by one. So you select three rows and one column. And you do M multiply.
you select A inverse first. Yeah, you can check if it's correct, but in general, but when you do it, you can check. Right, you do m m multiply so m mult select a inverse first comma matrix b and close the bracket now do i need to press enter or control shift enter so just make a note control shift Enter. And the answer that you get are the values of x, y. This is your solution. Give it a good color. So just in three steps, you are able to solve this problem here. Okay, now let's see if it's correct, right? What you do is in place of X, Y, and Z, you plug in these values to check if you get 95, right? And you do it for all three, but we'll do it for the first one at least. So check your work. So you say five times X, plus four times y, correct? Plus nine times z or z. If I press enter, what should be the answer? Only if you get 95, you've done the work correct. So let's see, 95. Right, pretty amazing if you think about it. Yeah, that's the beautiful thing. There's only one solution to this problem. Right. But there could be instances when there are more than one solutions. Uh, but these guys need to be like square and so on for that. Okay. If they're straight planes, then they meet at a single point. Does that make sense? Okay, when you practice, you can do the word problem of actual economics word problem, but you have to do it the same way. Okay, I'll upload this on Blackboard. You can do the practice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.